hi y'all this is Kathy and I'm so glad that you're here to see my video I am going to be making a quiche today and then I've got a little special thing at the end that you might want to check out if you're a nature lover I appreciate you so much for stopping by and checking out my video and please leave me a comment because I love comments um, I'm just learning how to be a YouTuber, so this is just a hobby for me, and I hope that you enjoy it. Thanks. Let's make some bacon spinach quiche. Yum, yum, yum. The first thing we've got to do is cook some bacon. Now, when I cook my bacon, I just put it on a cookie sheet and put it in the oven. It's not messy. It takes just a few minutes. It's just really the best way to cook bacon. Um, I'm gonna be making two quiches, but the directions that I'm giving you is just for a single quiche. Next, we're gonna chop an onion. Um, I just use one onion for two quiche, but if you are an onion lover, you could do a little bit more if you were doing two. But if it's just one quiche, a medium-sized onion's gonna work. The next thing I'm gonna do is saute the onion. Um, I like to cook it before I add it into my other ingredients to mix it up to bake before I bake the quiche. Um, I got this cute little bottle. It's a uh, Pioneer Woman from the big Walmart store. I got a couple of them for different types of oil. And then I just wrote on what type of oil it was but they are super cute and it makes it so much easier to use the oil because I always put too much if I don't have something like that. So I am uh, draining out the water in some frozen spinach that I had already thawed out. But this quiche is great with fresh spinach. And if you use the fresh, then you just can saute it with the onion. And it is super good. Here are my sweet puppies. They're following me around the kitchen. This is the time late afternoon that they always get some carrots. So they're asking me in their own little way, mommy, when are we getting our carrots? And usually they harass me until I get them out. So here I am cracking the eggs for the quiche. I did 10 eggs for two quiche. If you were just gonna do a single quiche, you could do five or six eggs and that would do the trick. Thank you. 
Now we're ready to add in the milk or the cream. I just had 2% milk, so that's what I used. Um, you can put between three quarters of a cup to one cup for each quiche. So I added about a cup and a half. Okay, so we're gonna put this quiche together. The first thing that I am now going to do, since I've gotten all the prep stuff done, is I'm gonna take my bacon and I'm gonna break it up in the bottom of my pie shells. A little bit more for this one. And I'm going to make two quiches, and because uh, sometimes Steve will eat a lot and sometimes he won't. But uh, we can have leftovers, or we can have some for lunch, or we could have it for breakfast. And of course, this bacon. I uh, cooked it in the oven. That is so easy and fast. Just uh, pop it in there on a cookie sheet and let it go. And I usually, I check it and I'll turn it over a couple of times just to make sure it doesn't burn. But that's the easiest and less messy way that I know of to cook some bacon. Okay, so we've almost got this bacon in the bottom here. And I guess I, I didn't count how many pieces I had of bacon, but I'm thinking around 10. So that's about five per quiche. Now, this is where I do my own thing. Um, I've got the, I've got about 10 eggs, that's five eggs per quiche, and about a cup and a half of milk. And I just use milk, some people use cream. You know, I just use what I've got, and that's what I've got. So, I don't measure anything. I just, I'm gonna put some garlic powder in there. Garlic would be good in there, but I didn't have any. A little bit of pepper. I don't think I'll need much salt because that uh, bacon is going to be kind of salty. So just a little bit of salt. And then I like dill in mine. I'm going to put a good amount of that in there. And then I'm going to whisk that up. And here's where have kind of developed my own procedure for quiche. Now I've already got uh, some spinach that was frozen that I uh, strained all the water out of it. I'm just gonna kind of break that up and put it in my egg mixture. And, and then, and I use whatever cheese I have there are really no rules with quiche. You can use whatever meat you want, whatever veggies you want. I make it with broccoli, make it with ham. You can could, you could make it just with veggies. So, I don't usually measure anything, but since we're doing a video, I'll measure. So, there's a half cup. I'm gonna put a, a cup, maybe a little more. Woo! making a mess here. So there's a little over a cup of shredded Colby Jack. And then I'm also gonna mix in some uh, shaved Parmesan, that's what I had. Cheese that bad boy up. big fork here and I'm gonna stir all that together and I just eyeball it to see the consistency I'll show you the consistency that's what I've got then what I do is oh I forgot one thing I forgot the onion 
So let's get those. We don't want to forget those. So I pre-cooked these and I'm going to put that in the egg mixture. I didn't want to forget the onions. And I just pre-cook it because sometimes onions, you know, they, they get a little sweeter. Sometimes they can be a little harsh. These were strong onions. They were about making me cry. All right. So let's mix those onions in. And I think we are now ready. And what I do, so I'm just gonna eyeball this and put about half of it. And I always get too much in my pie pie crust and then it overflows in the oven and that I do want to happen that is not good more of this stuff in there okay I'm gonna attempt to use all of it Ooh, I hope you don't overflow all right have that down a little bit. Please don't overflow. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of this shaved parmesan on top. And my dogs are, if you hear them, clickety click, click, click. They are waiting for carrots, which is their afternoon treat. I have to cut up little baby carrots for them. Okay, let's take a look at these. So they are now gonna go in the oven, probably for about 45 minutes. I'll just keep an eye on them and see. They're gonna kind of rise up and then usually they'll kind of flatten back out when you take them out. All right, let's see how this goes.
So here they are 45 minutes later and they look pretty yummy. Here it is served on our famous paper plates with some focaccia bread and a little salad on the side. It was pretty good guys. So I wanted to share with you something that we saw outside of our window uh, last night just before the sun went down. It started to snow and it was a light fluffy snow. We looked outside and we saw all these deer and they're just frolicking in the snow. So enjoy a little deer frolicking. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you later.